What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing TLDR, which is to complete the level, the library, in Under the Par Time on Halo Combat Evolved. Or in Halo Combat Evolved, so start that up. And you see I have the new graphics on here, I move to the left immediately, I'm just running past everybody. And I'm doing this on easy, you can do it on any difficulty, but you might as well do it on easy because that makes it much more manageable. And uh, much more likely that you'll get it. Not that you can't get it on other difficulties, but I mean, hey, when handed something that you could do on easy, why not just do it on easy? Um, you can see I'm just running past all the enemies. You actually start off with a shotgun on easy, which is great. On legendary, that is not the case. You have to manage to find a shotgun somewhere in the fray of all of these enemies. But you can see I just ran to this first door out of 10. I actually ran past it accidentally. I'm like, where's the door? Oh, I ran too far. So we're gonna have to cut back right here, but that's not really that bad at all. Lost a few seconds because the door does not start to open until you get under it, under Guilty Spark here. And then he goes off and he's like, oh, I gotta fix something. Oh, why don't you fight some more Flood? And you're like, oh, thanks. I wasn't fighting enough as it is. This is great. This is perfect. So we gotta wait for him. He flies away. Most of the Flood are dead at this point. There he goes. Here he comes back. Thanks for, uh, you know, helping out with your big laser eye that apparently you have. We don't know about that till Halo 3, but, I mean, way to chip in. So at this point, you can just run and gun, kill enemies as you go. Uh, it's not 100% necessary to kill enemies, but you could just run past here and run to the left over here. And you can see there's a bunch of enemies jumping down from the ceilings or the walls. And we're just going to run by all of them. On easy, it's pretty manageable. It's tough to get your shield taken all the way down. Uh, the two major ways to get your shield taken down on easy is overcharged plasma pistol, which none of these enemies do. You can see I drop uh, I drop down there to get uh, some overshield. Threw a grenade off that pylon thing to knock the people in the back of me off their feet with that grenade. But uh, looks like it didn't kill anybody. And the other way I would say that uh, you could possibly get your shield taken all the way down in one go is by getting uh, hit with a hunter fuel rod blast. Or maybe a grunt fuel rod as well. But uh, again, there are none of those enemies present in this level. So we're just going to cruise right by everybody uh, without fear of any abrupt loss of shield. So remember to throw a grenade or save a grenade at least for that part. Uh, you don't really need to, I guess, on easy. You could just run by all of them. But uh, on legendary, I always save a grenade for that part because you could see there was a bunch of enemies that popped out and blocked your path between you and this lovely, lovely elevator. So we're going up first elevator out of three. Now we're on the second floor out of four. And we just run this way. There's some enemies spawning behind you, but they're just carrier forms, those slow, bulbous dudes. So we're just going to ignore them. And we're going to cut over here. We could actually do a little exploit. You don't need to do this because it's uneasy, but, I mean, it makes it even better. It makes it even easier. So right when it says, hold your position until the monitor returns in your top left corner, it gives you that objective. Just run back over here, and you can stand here, and no enemies will spawn. Normally this is an area where a bunch of combat forms come out of these holes in the walls, and you just fight them all until a guilty spark comes back and opens the door, but we could just go over here and actually none of them spawn, which is awesome. So we're just going to wait for guilty spark to come back. He will come back out of the hole in the wall over here, right there. I'll just stare at it and wait for him to come back. Once you see him again, you could start moving forward again. So he should be falling down. There he is. You could see him on your radar before you could see him in real life, quote unquote. But just run over here. There's health right here and some grenades. I just picked up the grenades. And you could take this wide. And I'll show you an example of that later on. But I'm just going to run through this section. Kill people as you go. Whip out your pistol. The pistol and shotgun are the best weapons against the flood. Uh, on easy it only takes two or three hits with a pistol to kill the flood. Which is nice. 
I like to use the carrier forms, obviously. Uh, kill those guys first if they're near other enemies because they blow up and kill all the other enemies so you don't have to kill them. Which is great. They're like bombs waiting to explode. You gotta push in, you just gotta push the right combination on them, which is, you know, two or three bullets placed anywhere on their body. So this door, you could actually grenade jump up and over. It's supposed to stall. It's scripted to stall as it's like halfway open. I decided to run over here and get more ammo while I'm waiting. But you can see that door is stuck in a like halfway open position. You can actually grenade jump up onto the door and then run up and through that hole in the middle. But we're not going to do that uh, for our purposes. That's unnecessary. We have 25 minutes to get through this level and that's more than enough. Especially on easy. Um, grenade jumping also on easy is more difficult because of the fact that grenades are actually more powerful on easy so when you do grenade jump it takes away all your shield and way more of your health usually leaving you with one bar of health if you have full health so if you don't have full health it's just out of the question because you'll probably just kill yourself but jump down into this tunnel try to kill the carrier forms from as far away as possible they're not too threatening uh, obviously on easy they don't damage you nearly as much as they would on Legendary, but you might as well, you know, preserve your overshield while you can. I still got, like, a third overshield left, or a third of the, one of the shields. Watch out for that guy who jumps down. Go up here and jump to the left, and we're cutting this way. The overshield is actually triple shields, not just double shields. You got your reddish pinkish shield that I have on right now but you also get a green one as well covering that even so that's nice but you can see I'm just running past everybody which uh, on legendary speedruns you want to run past people well I'm going the wrong way there we go good job silver on legendary uh, a lot of these sections you run past but it's much more difficult obviously you gotta be more cautious uh, on legendary or on easy, we have the luxury of them being terrible shots, and even when they do land a shot, it is way less damaging. A testament to that is my overshield still intact after running through two whole floors, so get away, needlers. Second elevator out of three. Whoa, boy. Switching the graphics. Off the cuff. And we're on the third floor out of four. So we're about halfway done here. Cruising along. Take out your pistol. There is a couple uh, combat forms just standing around over there. There's actually health up there where I'm zoomed in now and shooting. Where I shot that guy up on the ledge type thing. He's got some health by his feet if you need any. Take out your pistol again. Shoot all the people at the end of this tunnel. And they'll probably get up, but just shoot them more. And we're just going to move through. Watch out for the carrier forms. The only real danger of the carrier forms is the fact that uh, they will cause a chain reaction if there's any grenades nearby them while they explode. The explosion of the carrier form will trigger the just inactive grenades on the ground to explode. I guess they're not inactive because they're, uh, well, they are. But, you know, they are still dangerous because there will be a chain reaction occasionally. You don't have to do this necessarily. I like to throw a grenade there because I know there's a dude there. And there's a guy here as well. That's more of a legendary thing because, obviously, you want to kill people as quickly as possible. You want to get the jump on them. But on easy, it doesn't really matter when you shoot them and kill them. There's health and ammo over here. Shoot those dudes. You can see I'm shooting the carrier forms first so they can blow up the regular dudes. And we're just holding out for this door to open again. Now you could actually let the infection forms uh, jump on your shield, actually. They take down almost no uh, shield, which is weird. But just throw a grenade here. There's actually a rocket dude right there. You can see his rockets just fell. 
You want to make sure he does not shoot at you. I take back what I said. There are enemies that can uh, take down your shield in one blast. This is what I was talking about on the previous floor. You could actually just uh, jump over these things and you won't have to go through the uh, choke points over there where you're supposed to go through. You could go around the other way, which is longer, but it actually is much safer because uh, no enemies spawn. If you go around the short way, the, uh, the enemies do spawn, like you see here. But, I mean, it's on easy, so you might as well go to the short, quick way because it's easy and uh, the enemies won't do too much damage to you. There's health behind me. Up against the left wall. I passed it because I have full health. And we're going over here. Moving, moving, moving. And we're easily going to get this within 25 minutes. I was gunning for 15 minutes after I saw my pace, but I miss it by like a minute. I think we end up with like 16, 17 minutes maybe. But again, that's way, way under what we need to do. So you go into this section and uh, the door will close behind on you. And this is a section where you have to fight a bunch of flood for a long period of time. Uh, like a minute and a half or so. There's supposed to be a bunch of combat forms that come out and they will come out. But since they can't see you, they'll just stand there idly, and they won't do anything, which is great. Uh, you can actually just stand here for a minute and a half. Uh, you could go take a bathroom break. You could go, you know, make some popcorn in the microwave. Usually popcorn takes about a minute and a half in microwaves. So since there's nothing to do here, I always take the time to plug my channel here, actually. On my myriad of library guides, I think you should click like and subscribe, possibly. Uh, cause don't you want more of this Halo goodness? I mean, look at these tricks. I mean, they only get better from here. And more helpful. And awesome. Um, so, this channel is dedicated to covering all Halo achievements in all Halo games. So, I'm working my way towards that. Obviously, I have my work cut out for me. But that is the general idea. And I have about 300 Master Chief Collection guides up already. Along with a bunch of other ones from a bunch of other Halo games, which I'll have to cover as well. So if you're interested in any Halo games achievements, this is the channel for you. I'll be covering everything. So you can see the door is opened up at this point. And we're just going to go to the right and ignore all the people to the left that were just standing around. Just like us. We were just on the other side of the barrier and standing around. Who would have known? But watch out for all these guys. I always forget about these guys. Because I'm like sucked into just standing and enjoying, you know, the scenery around me. When I'm standing there for a minute and a half and I come out of the room and then they're all... And then there's all those people, and I always forget about them. So don't forget about them. Obviously, it's not as, you know, bad of a thing to forget about them on easy, but on legendary, they will destroy you. But we don't got to worry about legendary right now. Hop on the final elevator. Three out of three. And you can see up top, oh, look at that. Ooh, that pulsating elevator lift. That's cool looking. But jump up here. You can see we're making very good time. Well under the 25 minutes at this point. And whoop, forgot about that guy, but it's alright. It's on easy, guys. Don't worry. Even if he did hurt me, I would actually recharge. Actually, the recharge in uh, on easy is slower than other uh, difficulties, which is weird. But, obviously, he wouldn't hurt me nearly as much, so I would not be in as dire need of a recharge. So watch out for all these guys. Whoa, boy. That one actually did some damage to me. I think there were some grenades, though, in the, uh... uh maybe not. Maybe I was just right on top of them. In any case, there is health right there you saw I picked up. And this is a section where we could do the same thing. We could just stand here and wait for Guilty Spark to open the door, and we don't have to, uh, you know, do anything. We don't have to fight anybody, just stand here. And you could actually grenade jump through the door. You don't have to go through those tunnels. But again, on easy, the grenade jump actually is not as uh, good of an idea to do because of the fact that it leaves you with one health bar in the best uh, situation. Worst case scenario, it actually just kills you. I guess you could just grenade jump through the doorway on uh, in this section because there's no enemies in this section when you come in and you can just grab that health pack right away. But... I decided to, you know, just take it the long, easy way. So we're wrapping around here. We're at the end. You're going to see a bunch of enemy contacts up here. Uh, but those are just carrier forms, so you can just outrun them. You can see it just they all popped onto my radar right there. No need to turn around and battle them. We're just running to the end here. This is the last door. Door number 10 out of 10. 
And you can actually grenade jump through this one as well, but I'm not going to due to the fact that, again, it will leave me with one bar of health. And in this instance, there's actually a ton of enemies that'll be around me, so they could shoot at me and possibly kill me. The door starts to open and a bunch of enemies jump through it, but you can see that it kind of gets stuck halfway through the animation, and then it finally opens now, but there's a bunch of people, so watch out for them. Have some grenades ready. Watch out for chain reactions uh, when you do throw your grenades. Don't get too close to your grenades. And we're just going to wrap around these barriers, and there's not too many enemies here. On Legendary, there's a ton more, and they're more powerful, but don't run off the edge, like I almost did there. And just get into this middle section, and that will finish the level. If you're playing on co-op, it makes you get both people onto the this platform before the level ends. So just be aware of that. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion, and I'll see you later for more achievements.